Aloha and welcome back to the channel. So I am at KABX, um, Catalina, Avalon, small island off the coast of California and I'm trying to do a, a takeoff and quick flight with high winds and storm and rain. Now the rain actually is, I won't say it's behind me, but it's all around me. I, the runway actually looks wet in the, in the sim. Um, here is is to uh, take off and come back and land now the wind you can kind of see the windsock there we got you know, I think that's about a 15 ish or so 15 knots of wind which is not fun um, So without further ado, I'm going to take off and then I'll talk about why I'm doing this. Get off my brake. So, and right there, a lot of this is wind kind of pushing me. A um, couple of channels that I really like to follow, uh, Cess Sim and Cardboard Sim. Uh, I've done this same exact, I'll call it a challenge, uh, Airspeed Alive. And now we can rotate. Uh, they've done this challenge and they were just really impressive with how they flew it um, and I decided I kind of wanted to try to attempt it as well uh, and if you haven't watched their channels I definitely recommend it um, there are two very unique uh, cockpits Cess Sims is a G1000 and um, setup and he has just gone all out it looks amazing he did a video series on the rebuild of it recently and it's just really, really awesome. Um, and Cardboard Sim, his is probably the most unique setup I've seen because he is just, the amount of, of creativity that he puts into it, I'm just, I'm really impressed with. He's taken pieces, parts out of, um, God, I, I know, I think at one point he took a part out of a fan, you know, and he, he put it in. And it, just that kind of creativity to make a, a, a good looking Sim is, is pretty impressive. Um, mine is far more generic than that. Definitely didn't have the creativity. So my goal here, I'm going to fly through some weather, hopefully, and bring you back. But they did this. They were able to land the plane. I'm kind of curious if I can do it, too. My very first attempt, the wind actually pushed me off the taxiway sideways. I, I could do nothing. I tried using my brakes, and the brakes didn't matter. It just it right off the side. Um, Now the rain seems to have let up a little in our stormy weather here, and I'll show you the, uh, just so you know I'm not cheating. Go so here to weather. And weather, storm, precipitation, the 1.18, it's a max you can do. Um, it's all set up in there to be the generic storm. Um, now I'm gonna parallel the runway. Here's my runway. And I'm gonna try to I guess fly into the storm. You can see even there's a little rainbow right there. I don't know how visible that is on the video, but there's a little rainbow coming off, which is pretty cool. Um, so I do have the wind. I'm just not having the rain that they had. But I'll try to find some. Uh, then I'm going to fly back and hopefully land right on that runway. We'll see how that goes for me. I know that when I had the when I was getting a tailwind, it actually earlier in a different flight, well similar to this, I, I tried a, a different storm out of a different area and it had me up to about 140 knots. Okay. Yeah, you can even see little white caps down there because of the weather. Which I'll say again, it's pretty cool seeing the white caps. Um, but now we're flying into that, that reduced visibility. You know, rate shift for reduced. And uh, not getting the rain though. May have to do this again just to see if I can get some rain going. Uh, now we're going to bring it around. Oh, 
Oh, there, there's some rain. I don't know if you can see it off to the sides. I do, I do indeed have some rain coming. But because of the wind, it's making the turns really hard. Yeah, I, I can't make a tight turn right now. It, it, it's not letting me. And, the, and I caught the wind. So I'm speeding up. I'm now at 139. So let's hunker down. Wait off some speed here. And I am getting thrown around quite a bit. There's the runway up ahead. Definitely getting thrown around a wee bit. So the rain would make this more challenging, but I'll tell you the wind definitely makes this an unfun, uh, unfun landing. I know I'm already high. You start off and you're at ground level, you're actually at like 1,500 feet. So it, Wind is definitely. Uh, right, I was perfectly lined up, and it just pushed me right over. It doesn't seem to care. Crabbing in, I guess. This wind is no joke, though. I'll tell you what. I'm coming in pretty hard. That was not a pretty landing, but there it is. Um, I wish I had gotten more rain. Um, I'll probably try it again with the rain, but that wind was, I think it was like 15, 15, 15 to 17 knots. And it just kind of wants to push you because you're coming down. Uh, and that's just on the generic weather settings. I'll actually bring them up so we can see them here. We'll go to uh, weather and Where's my the wind? Wind 15 knots from 271. So that was definitely a unique uh, landing experience for me. Wasn't too happy with it, but uh, yeah. So I'll, I'll try it again, I think, and try for some rain. Hopefully that'll uh, make it a little more interesting. But yeah, I kind of landed and survived, I guess. Uh, yeah. So thanks for watching, and my next uh, video, and I'll throw it out there to those guys if they want to uh, partake, is I'm going to do a takeoff from either Groton or Westerly, which are near me, and I'm going to put it in, the, in a storm-like condition, because yesterday we had a big st uh, storm up in the northeast, all sorts of snow and, and, and nastiness. I'm going to put it in here and, and see what that flies like. So uh, that's coming next, and I'll... I'll get that video going. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. And as always, happy flying out there.